Well, welcome to this episode of Addictive Fishing. I'm your host, Captain Blair Wiggins. And every year about this time, we end up with a lot of footage that ends up on the cutting room floor that you just didn't get to see. So we wrap it all up into one show and we call it Bits and Bites. On today's show, you're gonna see us head down to Stewart. We're with DOA Pro's Captain Greg Snyder and Captain Ed Zayak, catching some real big snook. Then we take it up to the Space Coast and we debut the Flats Pink Rod with our first Lady Angler guest. But first, we got Captain Pat Deneen. We're fishing the Panhandle on a nasty day, and we're catching what Pat calls Panhandle Permit. They pull real hard, and uh, one of us gets spooled. Check this out. It's hard to leave fish to find fish, right? right? It. Look at this size, that's cool, dude. I think there's a fish in there. Yeah. Or two. Go ahead. That didn't take long, did it? <laughs> oh, Jackies. Yep. <sighs> look at how many, look how many, look how big that school is, bro. That is a monster school. <laughs> I think, I think they're going this way. How's your line holding up? It's uh, diminishing. <laughs> Powered by a 300 Yami and two 15 pound Jack Corellis. Yeah, uh -oh. in fact, it's uh, looking very. Uh oh, should I crank? Um, <laughs> either that or speed up. Yeah. <laughs> it's gone. Oh! It's gone. Well, I tried to get you up there. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little quicker than we were. I'm feeling a little lethargic in this cold weather. This guy ought to heat me that up. One. Was that a bigger reel? Yeah, it's a uh, 35. Yeah. I think I'm gonna need to go find another rod. Yeah, there you go. I think I got a spool back in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna upgrade to a bigger rod. Oh, it makes it much more fun with the little guys. Except they tend to take all your line away. You know, Pat, when I was a kid, we used to have these big schools like this come in the Banana River. And inevitably, you'd hook one of these and do exactly the same thing that just happened to you. Yeah. Because <laughs> I was in a John boat and I never could get my motor crank quick enough to chase them. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when a school of jack swims down the beach, you know they're coming. Pushing every little bait fish is on the run. That was cool. What was it, Ballyhoo Shatter? Looked like it. Come on, Mr. Jack. Mr. Yellow Submarine. Pat, have you ever eaten a Jack Carvel? Nope. Have you? Believe it or not, I have. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make bad sushi. I tell you, um, you gotta be real hungry for them. That though. meat's pretty dark. What's that? The meat's pretty dark. Yeah, you really can't see the bloodline in them. No. He's trying to get back down to the bottom, ain't he? He is. We had pretty steady action this morning. Something. The money fish. Hey, buddy. What's your name? What are you going to tell you? Yes, sir. Mr. Jack. Mr. Jackie Creval. He's saying hello to you. <laughs> He's saying, leave us alone. Go catch some redfish. He, he might leave a mark if you can get closer. <laughs> Quit pestering us. That's a beauty. Pretty well, little fish. Underrated strongest fish pound for pound that swims in the Atlantic or the Gulf. It's probably a good thing they're not good to eat. There'd be less of them. <laughs> well, I won't make that comment again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back with some more Dig the Fishing and hopefully show you a big old redfish. Slow. Well, a little bit different water than this morning, huh? Yeah. Oh God! Get him! Get him! Get him! Uh -oh. You see it? You see it? Nice knot. 
Oh, something clear. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. This might work. Oh, God. No. Well. But that was fun. I love seeing all those tarpons. Oh, yeah. They Jumping were one, you know, having a few bites. Well, we're going to see if this place here will pay off like it did. Uh, well, we'll keep that a secret. We'll see if it, we'll see if, see if it happens today. Yeah. Well, this is a good area. What do you got down here? Well, this is an old oyster bed. The oysters are all dead now, but it's scattered out over about a 100 yard area, and there's a lot of rubble from the old bridge that used to be here. So when we got done tarpon fishing, they stopped rolling. This is a great place to come. It suns up, this is deeper water, plenty of structure and plenty of food for those fish with this falling tide. So if there's a big one to be caught, he's probably around you. Let's hope so. And I'm tired of throwing up this tarpon and having them not eat. <laughs> Man can only take so much. There he is. Come on, baby. Yeah. Good fish. Real good fish. Oh, yeah. That's a good head shake there, brother. Oh, come on. You want to, I don't know, pull us away from the bridge a little? Because he's going to go when he figures out. Good fish, good fish. Oh god, good fish. This going to okay, easy, easy, out of easy, here. easy, easy. We just woke up. Come on, baby. Come on out. I'm just gonna keep easing this out, Blair. All right. You know, sometimes you can get him coming with you and She's get coming. him out of that danger zone. She's coming over the tower. Over over. Let's get a look. Let's get a look. I know, I can't wait to see it. Oh, there's oh, a boil. There's a boil, look like a Volkswagen <laughs> boil. <laughs> oh, I saw a glimpse. There's a knot. Oh. I know we're close. <laughs> I saw a knot. Did I saw, you see it? I saw the tail. God. It's, it's a big one. It. it is a big one, brother. It's giving this 7.6 a workout. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're so close. So to close to it. seeing this fish. This water is so nasty. What do, you, what do you say? The big sugar from Okeechobee dumps all their crap water. Yeah, we got a uh -oh. lot of dirty water on us right now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You ready for a look? This is the time we're going to see him. Yeah, oh, baby. Sure. 40 inch. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's, a That's a grown one, bro. That is a grown one. She's mad. God, what a fish, brother. What a fish. Look at that. Look at that thing. Great job. You want to hold him? I want to hold wanna... this baby. <laughs> you got to catch him. I want to hold him. I loved your technique with the, the bait buster. Kind of like just, casual, just letting it sink. Just let it sit on the bottom and give it a twitch off. Doing it old school with the old bait buster. Yeah. Here, let's get one chop. Oh, oh there she goes. Off he goes. Awesome, man. Brother. That's a heck of a start for the morning, huh? That's great. Uh, to be honest with you guys, we were fishing here yesterday with Captain Greg Snyder, good friends with Ed, uh, the DOA crowd, and I caught the biggest snook of my life. So we're going to come back here today and we're going to see if we can top that snook. We've already been out this morning for tarpon, hooked a couple of those around back up in the river and couldn't get one of those to show you. So we're going to show you a bunch of big snook right here from Stewart with Captain Ed Zayak. We'll be right back. Y'all stay tuned. Well, they don't want mullet heads. So a little different water than you're used to fishing in, huh? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm not really an inshore kind of girl. Um, I normally fish offshore, and um, I fish out of Boynton Beach, Florida. Not too much redfish down there either, huh? No, not really. Um, I actually have not even seen one redfish in my area. They're just not there, um, and you know, I haven't had the opportunity to catch one. So I'm looking forward to it. You are about to see the world's largest redfish where they live anyway. Hopefully we can get you one on the line since you ain't never caught one. Perfect. That would be awesome today. So all we're looking for is just a little little ripple that kind of looks like there's black drum this morning, mm -hmm. except these fish are going to be like this big. Okay. And 
all you're gonna see is just a little bitty push. Right, can you see that little, it's a funny little bump right up there next to that wind rip. Actually, I do see it. All right, let's see what happens. These big mullet are kind of tough to toss unless you, you can rip your finger with that braided line. I've done it a million times. Oof. Good job. You, There's your well, first red see fish. Him. That is awesome. Just hang on, let him run. Just all right. So all you're gonna be able to do there is let him go. run. Let's see if we can do a nice. double here. Fish on, baby. Woo! Glad we hit him before the storm. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna stop. Oh, that's a real one, brother. Oh. Or should I say, that's a real one, sister. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Woo! I think you got a grown one there, Darcy. Just hold I on to it. I think so him. too. Thanks. All right, you're good. Sweet. How much line you got left? These are the only red fish in the world you really got to go chase. Okay. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> yeah, sometimes we got to. Okay. Oh, wow. yeah, you got you a grown one. Look at that wake back there. And just start reeling. Here's where we're running. I'll be coming back to us. Yeah, decent amount is off there. Well, you know, this is the debut of the pink rod, right? Yes, I do know that. And this rod is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I just totally feel the, the actual backbone in the rod while I'm bringing it up to help me reeling this fish. It's pretty cool. Well, when the rod designer from Wright McGill said, what do I want to see in a rod? I said, make the tip of it really, really light because we cast those little tiny shrimp like we were casting those black drum this morning. Right. I said, make the middle of it, you know, a little bit stiffer and then finally make the butt of it like a old Fenwick. I used to use Fenwick rods when I was a kid growing up. Okay. And they had just a great, great, a great butt action to them, real stiff. Yep. And when the uh, rod designer put that blank in my hands, I was like, I'm in love, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Oh yeah, fish. I see it. Oh yeah. Big fish. You said you wanted a what? Starts with an M, ends with an N? <laughs> <laughs> a Mogan redfish. <laughs> okay, walk around around the front here. Whoa, look at that fish. Uh-oh, where's she going? Uh-oh, just let her go right under the boat. Just hold it down, hold it down, you're good. Okay, come right around the front. There you go, over my head. There she is. Uh, Woo! You have yourself an Indian Woo! River Mogan redfish. How's Look that? Look at that fish! Oh my god! <laughs> That's a massive red! Here, slide back just wow. a little bit. Let me lay her down so I can get that hook out. Oh my god! Easy, baby. We're gonna let you go. Look how gorgeous. You're Darcy's first. That was awesome. There you go. How's that one? Look at that fish. Nice! Awesome, awesome redfish. It has been so long since I've been up here catching these guys. Nice fish. Glad you got to Gorgeous. come up here with me and catch it. Yes, thank you. Awesome. That's one beautiful fish, Darcy. Thank you very much. Or should Captain we Blair. say Dar Sizzle? Dar Sizzle. If you go, if you go to her Facebook page, go check it out. It's under Dar Sizzle, and uh, Dar Sizzle Offshore. Dar Sizzle Offshore. She got some pretty cool shots. All right, Darcy, if you would turn the trolling motor on high. Okay. And just take it straight forward. I gotta get some water through this fish okay. and gills. All right, he's starting to chew on my finger and you get a redfish this size chewing on my finger. Darcy, go ahead and turn that off. Okay. Come right down here, you get to release it. Okay. Gorgeous fish. 
there she goes. Want. Beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> nice fish. Well, what do you think of your first redfish? Thank you very much, Captain Blair. It was amazing catching my first red and my first black drum today. Definitely cool, and it appeared on the new Flats Pink by Rat McGill. An awesome it. rod. <laughs> <laughs> well, that about wraps it up from the Indian River here, my hometown, Dar Sizzle, and it's Dar Sizzle Offshore on Facebook? Correct. Dar Sizzle Offshore. Go check out her Facebook page. Some killer pictures up there, and uh, like her. She's a public figure. We'll see y'all later. See ya. How you doing folks, Captain Blair Wiggins here. I'm gonna show you what I think has to be the most awesome feature of the Humminbird unit today. It's the 360, we have it deployed. We came back in the canal systems here because a lot of snook and redfish and the fish that we like to catch hang around these docks. And the only way previously to know if they were there was to fish them and spend lots of time. Nowadays, I deploy my 360 down and if you see, each of these pilings here, they're showing up on my 360. Those are fish right there. That little white little line is a fish in there. No telling what kind of fish it is, but at least you know that there's a fish down there to try and fish for. As we come down the side of the bank here, you can see the seawall back here. So see in between the boats right here, you can see that seawall and you can see each one of the pilings that are down. And a matter of fact, that line right there is showing the back of those boats. When we get up here to this big boat, you'll really see the back of the boat really good. But if there were fish in here, there would be just a bunch of little white lines around the pylons right here. Now, if I was tournament fishing right now, I would probably not fish any of these docks right now because I'm not seeing anything on here that tells me that there's redfish down there. The Humminbird 360 unit, whether you're inshore or offshore, this is the best unit I have ever seen in my life. Highly recommend you try one of these because you'll be watching this TV instead of the one on your couch. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. Well, welcome back folks, we were gonna go offshore and we're going to try to show you some offshore stuff here in Stewart but mother nature has other plans for us today so we're gonna kind of pitch what we used to do many moons ago yeah it works and, uh, basically dog in the inlet maybe go dog the Roosevelt a little bit later but uh, hopefully gonna show you some inch inshore snook here he's throwing a terrorize I got the shrimp on you can see which one works out best and uh, hopefully show you a bunch of fish there we go uh oh Oh, yeah, crazy get, snook. I guess it's time to go to the terrorize. Oh, easy, buddy. This thing's going insane. Thinks he's a lot bigger than what he is. Goodness gracious. <laughs> well, it's a snooky. We were hoping to get offshore and hopefully go try to show you all guys some cobia, but Mother Nature has got them big old thunderheads up there. So, we're going to show you a bunch of inshore fish today and hope you see a bunch of these big guys right here. Ah. See that one, that one right there you were asking, that one right there is probably a four-year-old snook. Okay. That's, a, that's about the average size of a four-year-old right there. It kind of all depends on what he's been eating and his diet, but uh, that's a good looking healthy snook. We've been talking about what happened uh, back in 2010 with the freeze in the snook and it killed so many snook. And it's just good to see all those fish coming back like that. It's really neat. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed today's show. We call Bits and Bites. I had a blast catching all those fish and it just would have been a shame to leave all those fish laying on the cutting room floor. That about wraps it up for today's show. Don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. And if you've ever missed an episode of Addictive Fishing, you can go to YouTube and punch in Addictive Fishing. We got 14 years worth of video up there. You can also stay in touch with us on our social networking sites, which is Facebook, Instagram, and our Mogan Lounge site on Google+. Everybody has their favorite picture, their favorite fish on their phone. Make sure you send it to our Instagram at hashtag showyourmogan. That about wraps it up. We'll see you next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. You got one real, real, real. There you go. <laughs> nice job. Black drum, baby.
Oh my God, did you see the size of that fish? <laughs> Pretty neat. <laughs> or a catfish. Holy moly, it's a giant! Black drum, baby.